Hey everybody, just really quickly tonight looking at taking the drummer track and using an instrument track with the drum kit designer on it instead. This is if you have the drummer and you really like what you got but you want to make some specific MIDI changes, well you can't do that really inside the drummer track. So we want to look at converting it. So here's what we have as the original. So say we want to customize that in a really detailed way using MIDI. Well, we can't do it with the drummer track, so let's go through and actually make a new track. And let's add the drum kit designer. We're going to use the multi output. And we're going to use the vintage brushes. So let's close that for a second. And now up here, we're going to hold down the option key and drag that region down into that track. It converts it all to MIDI, which is just what we want. But now I actually have some effects on here that I want to make sure get pulled over. So option shift drag. The bus will just add to about the same. Now if I want, I can come in and actually change some of the hits. We can adjust things, we can add little fills, we can do anything we want with it. We're no longer just locked into that drummer region. Now the reason why I did multi-output is so that just as when I'm using the producer kit for the drummer, and I've got all these tracks here, same thing applies now to this track. I can just hit plus and it brings out all of these other tracks which now I can adjust and add effects to, solo out, do individual automation, everything. Or just pull them back in, it will actually lose all the effects, but I can treat them as an overall master with these effects right here. Okay, just a quick look at that. I thought it was just good recap looking at making sure we pull those different regions down into other tracks that they become MIDI. Hope you learned something here, and I hope you're having a great weekend.